All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk to you about a company called Core Scientific. They are a Bitcoin mining company. So we cover Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners quite a bit on this channel. So if you're new to the channel and if that's content that you enjoy, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, everybody, please smash the like button for us. It helps us a lot. We appreciate it. And of course, feel free to drop a comment below. Okay, let's talk about Core Scientific. They gave us an update for their March operations, and I'd like to compare them to some of the other players in the space because it seems to me like Core Scientific is not fully understood yet by investors. This transitioned from a SPAC, and oftentimes those companies over the last year have been punished severely for a period of time. And I believe that's what's happening to Core Scientific. Again, please, this is not financial advice. I'm giving you my thoughts and I'm gonna show you what the facts are and you guys can do your due diligence and decide what you wanna do about it. Right now, Core Scientific is trading at $7.90. That gives it a $2.51 billion market cap. Okay, so at the moment, that is actually the largest market cap out of all the Bitcoin miners. However, it is very close to Marathon, which is at $2.3 billion. Core Scientific currently operationally is much larger than Marathon and Riot. Because if you remember, a lot of these companies, particularly Marathon and Riot, have had a valuation of up to, I think, $7 billion. I think actually Marathon reached $7.5 billion market cap just about four months ago. So obviously they're off dramatically since then, but that shows you what these Bitcoin miners could do. And I'll tell you that Core Scientific is probably about seven times the size as a company and as a Bitcoin producer than Marathon was when it was valued at seven and a half billion dollars. Let's start out with the press release and see how they did in March. Okay, April 5th, Core Scientific announces March updates and CFO transition. So they transitioned to a new CFO. I'm not gonna to get too deep into that. That is a conversation for another day. I wanna focus on their operations and mining. So you see they have some bullet points here. Self-mined 1,143 Bitcoins in March. That is their self-mined Bitcoins. So one of the things about this company is they have several different lines of revenue. They do hosting for a massive amount of exahash. So they have revenue there, but they also own their own machines and self-mine. They have more machines self-mining than any other publicly traded company by far right now. They also in the past have sold equipment and they have made some profit doing that, but I think you're gonna see as this company transitions, the core, the backbone, 90 plus percent of the profit of what's gonna go on in this company is gonna be from their self-mined Bitcoin. So they say, in March, we self-mined 1,143 Bitcoin, not only representing our largest monthly Bitcoin production to date, but also the largest monthly production by any U.S.-based publicly traded Bitcoin mining company, and that's ever, said Mike Levitt, Core Scientific's chief executive officer. The more than 3,000 Bitcoin we have mined in 2022 puts us on a record pace for yearly Bitcoin mining results and for continued shareholder value creation. So I want to take a time out and go look at a chart that's a part of their presentation just to show you what scale they are mining Bitcoin at versus the rest of their competition. And remember, this is only their self-mined Bitcoin. This has nothing to do with their hosting services. This was part of their earnings presentation. This represents production for the three months of December 2021 and January and February of 2022. So they compare themselves to a cross mix of their competition. So first you'll see in that three months, they mined 3,102 Bitcoin. They are averaging over 1,000 per month. Obviously March was even better than any of these months. So through February for that three month period, the second closest was Riot at 1,319 and Marathon was right there alongside it at 1,307. They're mining about 250% more than these companies are. Then it goes down from there, hot eight. And again, a lot of these companies I own as full disclosure, and I think are good companies that have great business models. But what I'm trying to point out on here and what they're trying to point out is they are on a magnitude like no other. So Hut 8 mined 873 Bitcoin in that same period. And I can tell you, I do own shares of Core, Riot, and Hut 8. Then Iris Energy, 360 in that period of time. So Iris just started this. Terra Wolf, zero. So I think they put this on here for a reason. There's a lot of these companies that have pretty decent sized market caps in comparison that haven't even started mining Bitcoin yet. 
And Iris, you can see, is only mining just over 100 per month, whereas Core Scientific's mining over 1,000 per month. I think this is a powerful chart. I think it's worth looking at. Again, these are self-mined Bitcoin. So this is apples to apples. Let's get back to the press release. Okay, self-mining. Core Scientific self-mined operations include 1,143 Bitcoins in March, averaging 36.9 Bitcoin per day. So almost 37 Bitcoin per day they are mining, an increase from February's daily average of 35 per day. As of March 31st, the company holds 8,497 Bitcoins produced from operations. So those are all self-mined. And really, the vast majority of those are in the last four or five months. So that number is going to continue to grow drastically. As of March month end, Core Scientific operated its own fleet of more than 80,000 Bitcoin miners producing 8.3 exahash. So as of March 31st, I believe Riot was in second place with 4.3 exahash and Marathon was at 3.9 exahash. So you can see Core is still roughly double the size, operationally speaking, as of March than Marathon and Riot. Then they say Core Scientific will begin posting daily Bitcoin self-mining production on its corporate website the week of April 11th. So that's actually this week. I did go there. It says there's a couple of day lag. So they're still doing about 37 Bitcoin per day. So you can go there and check it out yourself if you want. So just quickly, I'm going to touch on hosting. In addition to the self-mining fleet, as of March 31st, Core Scientific provided infrastructure, technology, and operating support for a growing, diverse group of customers representing 7.9 exahash. So that's another almost eight exahash. So altogether, they're operating over 16 exahash. Company management highlighted continued strong demand exceeding the available supply of its infrastructure and hosting services on its March 29th, 2022 earnings conference call. So they plan on growing this dramatically. I believe they plan on being somewhere around 20 exahash hosted by the end of the year 2022. Also, by the way, they plan on being at around 20 exahash of self-mining by the end of the year 2022. So these guys will remain somewhere either the biggest or maybe the second biggest as of December 31st. I'm guessing the way everybody's plans are unfolding, they will still be the largest Bitcoin miner by the end of the year in 2022. But we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Okay, another important slide from their earnings presentation. I wanted to show you this. So they have three different types of revenue. You'll see equipment sales, self-mining, which is in this light blue, and hosting, which is in, I guess, this navy blue. They show this by quarter, and you can see in quarter four, they just exploded. So a lot of their growth was in quarter four. Quarter three, they had a big jump from quarter two. This is annually, and what I really want to point out here is you'll see in 2020, the light blue line, you can hardly even see on this chart. So that is how small their mining operations were in 2020. Their self-mined Bitcoin was $6.1 million. So in one year of from 2020 to 2021, all of this blue right here is their Bitcoin mining. They mined $216.9 million of Bitcoin in 2021. So that is monstrous growth. Now you can see they also have a lot of equipment sales and that's fine. The way I'm looking at this business is they did make some money on their equipment sales, but the, the gigantic profit margin is this light blue right here. And they're looking to do about triple this in 2022. So this is monumental growth. They basically went from not on the map at all, you know, maybe $6 million to self-mining over $200 million in 2021 to maybe over $700 million in 2022. They increased their hosting and they're gonna increase that a lot as well. So that is nice. That is a supplementary income for them. But the gross profit in this company comes from this blue section right here, which they 35 x all right, I want to take a look at the chart. This is the core scientific chart on the one day time frame. So each one of these candles represents one day. You'll see today we have a green candle. We're trading at $7.86, and this is the middle of the trading day, up 1.5% on the day, which is lagging behind really all of the other Bitcoin miners, which is a theme with Core Scientific. Based on the revenue numbers that we just went through, Core Scientific is multiples larger than all the other Bitcoin miners. Yet, they traded at a very similar market cap. Back on November 19th, about 10 days after Bitcoin had peaked at 69,000, this stock 
peaked at about $15. However, it was trading as a SPAC at that point. So since its conversion to stock ticker CORZ and its official NASDAQ listing, their all-time high is $11.52, and that was on February 10th. So to me, that is shockingly low. So this is a company, because of their nature of a transition from a SPAC, I don't feel like there's any reference point here that makes sense as far as a fair valuation of their stock. And again, please remember, this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. You guys have to take a look at this for yourselves and decide how you feel the valuation of this stock is. I feel that being on par with Marathon and Riot, as far as market cap goes, doesn't make sense since they are clearly multiples larger than those companies. Now, again, that is not disparaging those companies. I own shares of Riot, and I have a high level of conviction in what they're doing. However, Core Scientific is just a much larger company. So from a price target standpoint, if Core Scientific were just to get back to where it was trading on February 9th, that would represent almost a 47% increase in the price of their stock. If we look at the downside for Core Scientific, they have established an extremely strong line of support. I do not believe they're ever going to test this line of support again. This stock, in my opinion, is already oversold. However, if I look at a risk-reward standpoint, if they hit this line of support, that's a 25% risk to the downside. So just to get back here was a 40, almost 47% to the upside. This is 25% to the downside. However, I think a six month price target of $15 for this stock is very realistic. So that would be an upside of 90%. So even if that was to be six months or even if that was to be a year from now, that would be a 90% increase in the price of this stock. So again, from my perspective, from a risk reward standpoint, this is a good investment for me. You guys have to decide, make your own decision at your risk tolerance and do your own due diligence and see if this is a stock that makes sense for you. I believe this stock is underpriced. Time will tell what happens. So that is my update on Core Scientific. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.